Yo, want to talk a little bit about the muscles of the back and the abdomen. Um, we've got a superficial side and we have a deep side. On the superficial side, you can see half of the trapezius. Here's the upper portion, here's the middle portion, and here's the lower portion. Now, your trapezius muscle is used for a lot of different things, and the fact that the trapezius muscle is uh, so broad gives it a lot of different functions. For example, uh, the upper trapezius will allow you to shrug your shoulders and move your neck, whereas the middle trapezius will uh, actually uh, retract your shoulder a bit. In other words, it'll help to pull your shoulders back. And the lower trapezius will actually help to rotate the scapula. Um, when you rotate your scapula, what it's doing is it's actually rotating your scapula so that it actually rotates down. Kind of helps you to pick up something off of the floor, like your book bag when you're leaving out of class. Down below that is the latissimus dorsi. Now, latissimus actually is a uh, Latin for for wide, and dorsi means back. And if you look at this muscle, this thing is really wide. It actually starts way back here in the lower portion, of the lumbar portion of your back, wraps all the way underneath your arm, and it actually attaches to your humerus. The latissimus dorsi, we often nickname that the lats. Um, if you've ever watched uh, Michael Phelps in the uh, Olympics, Beijing Olympics, you saw that he had huge what they call wings, and that's the latissimus dorsi. They're great muscles for swimming. So that's the trapezius muscles up here, and then you've got the latissimus dorsi, which is right there. Now when you go deep, and just in the same areas, you have a muscle here that's known as the rhomboid minor, and you have a muscle here known as the rhomboid major. Notice that they're the exact same shape, total different size. Major, of course, tells you that it's the larger one. Minor is, of course, the smaller one. The rhomboid portion is referring to the shape. A rhomboid is a slanted square, and you can kind of see that in this muscle here. And the same thing for his little brother above him. What they do is they kind of pull your shoulder back in, and so when you're on one of those rowing machines at the, at the gym, these are the muscles that help pull your shoulders back towards uh, the midline of your body. Now, if we continue moving around, we have an interesting muscle here known as the deltoid muscle. This is the muscle around the shoulders. If you uh, watch the NBA and you've heard of a player called Dwight Howard, if you've not heard of a player, Dwight Howard, go Google his name. First thing that'll pop up are pictures of him flexing his muscles. He has huge deltoid muscles. The deltoids wrap all the way around like this. And so they allow your arm a lot of different movements. Like the front deltoid can allow your arm to flex. And then the middle deltoids can allow your arm to abduct and then the posterior deltoid can allow your arms to extend. As you continue around, you've got the pectoralis major, which is a chest muscle that actually attaches to your arm, and it allows you to do what's known as horizontal adduction, which is basically um, bringing your arm back towards the midline of the body. Down here, we see these muscles and if you look real close you'll notice that the fibers are running in this direction they're running from back to front these are your external obliques whereas when you turn this model around if you look closely you'll see that the fibers are running from the front to back these are the internal obliques. Now both of them have the job of rotating your trunk. So when you're doing the twist, the old dance, the twist, this is what rotates your trunk. But the external obliques, external meaning outer layer, which means those internal obliques must be underneath the external obliques. When you look at the fibers, they're running from back to front. They're running in the direction in which you go to stick your hands in your front pockets. Whereas the internal obliques are running from front 
to back, like you're going to stick your hands in your back pockets. So external obliques, internal obliques. They rotate your trunk. Oh, and one more thing. Oblique is referring to the angle in which the fibers are running. They're running at an oblique angle. Right here we see the infamous six-pack muscles known as the rectus abdominis muscles. Rectus means straight and if you see these fibers they're running straight up and down. Abdominus is referring to the fact that this is the abdominal area and they covered the abdominal cavity. Believe it or not this is all one muscle even though it looks like multiples. These are what we call transverse tendons and these little tendons just happen to be in between each segment of that one muscle. They give rise to the fact that when you have tendons going across like this when the muscle contracts it can actually contract the entire area here. And so the rectus abdominis is good for pulling down your chest cavity and also compression of internal contents. When you look in between the ribs, there's muscles here. These are known as intercostal muscles. The ones here on the outside would be the external intercostals and the ones underneath are the internal intercostals. And if you rotate just a little bit, you'll see how they come in at this angle and how the others have a completely different angle. These muscles, the intercostals, inter meaning in between costal referring to ribs, in between the ribs they space the ribs out so that you can breathe. Whereas these muscles that are attached to the ribs, these are the serratus anterior muscles. They originate at your ribs but they're going around the side of your back to actually attach to the scapula that's back here and what they do is they pull your scapula down and hold it towards your body. Well that's not all of the muscles of the trunk and the chest that we wanted to know or the back but it's just about all of them and I think that's just about all the time we've got. We'll see you later.